Good afternoon, and welcome to our 40th Monday Musical Meditation. Since it's 12 o'clock noon, let us begin by praying the Angelus together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and, and she, she conceived by, by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Literally, Mary, full of grace, the Lord, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray together. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this, our sixth and final Sunday of Ordinary Time, our Gospel is from Mark chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. We hear the story of a leper. A leper came to Jesus, begging him, and kneeling, the leper said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, Jesus sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer your cleansing, what Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. But the leper went out and began to proclaim it freely and spread the word so that Jesus would no longer go into a town openly, but stayed in the country and people came to him from around the entire area. Leprosy in the Bible covered a range of skin diseases. The law required a leper to stay away from others. The leper in this case breaches this code by approaching Jesus and Jesus breaches it by touching the leper. Find the leper is so thankful that he can't stop telling people. Maybe all of us can be aware, be aware of great things that have been done for us, and we can give gratefully for them in prayer. Today, we welcome back our guest cantor, Pam Kaskin, who is sharing her time and talent with us today, and we thank Pam gratefully. And also we thank our camera person and producer Sarah Stitcher for always being with us and doing such a fine job. Our first hymn today is There is a Balm in Gilead. The origin of Balm in Gilead tune is lost to history. The Balm of Gilead is an in, inter, per, uh, excuse me. The Balm of Gilead is interpreted as a spiritual medicine that is able to heal Israel. In the Old Testament, the balm of Gilead is taken most directly from Jeremiah 8, verse 22. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physical physician there? But we read on, and we find out, yes, there is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin-sick soul. This refrain encourages hope. The song speaks of being discouraged, but then the Holy Spirit revives the soul again. Yes, there is hope. 
Yes, there is a balm in Gilead. early weeks of ordinary time using the Gospel of Mark displays a lot of the healings of Jesus. We know that Jesus can and will heal if we ask. Our next hymn is a new healing song entitled, You Are the Healing. It tells us some of what Jesus can do, and by asking Jesus, he will show us how that's the proper way to live. We must listen, we must believe, we must act. Now listen to the words of, you are the healer. Show us how to live. 
God Beyond All Praising was written specifically for the Melody Thaxted in 1892, a composition by the early 20th century British composer Gustav Holtz. Holtz based the theme from the middle section of the Jupiter movement of his orchestral suite called The Planets and named after Thaxted, which was the English village where he spent most of his time. His friend, Ralph von Williams, in 1926, included this tune in the hymn book called Songs of Praise. Rarely is a symphonic theme taken and used for a hymn tune. Then in 1982, Michael Perry, one of England's most promising hymn writers, composed this text by changing England's patriotic words to words that would be more appropriate for Christian worship. So the powerful melody and words of God beyond all praising. Accept each other as Christ has accepted you, so that God will be given glory. Be present, Lord, be among us, and bring us to believe. We are ourselves accepted and meant to love and live. This is one of the most powerful hymns on reconciliation and forgiveness composed in the last half of the 20th century. I speak of the hymn, Help Us Accept Each Other. It is based on the words that we have heard in the gospel. Receive one another, then just as Christ also received you, to God's glory. By practicing the truth in love, we will, in all things, grow up in Christ. Here is the discipleship song, Help Us Accept Each Other. Yes. 
father, Peter Scholz, wrote our next song while he was a parish priest at St. Brennan's on the south side of Chicago in the 1960s. At the time, he was leading a youth choir out of the church basement and was looking for an appropriate song for an ecumenical interracial service. When he could not find such a song, he wrote our next song, They'll Know We Are Christians By Our Love, a song of unity. We are all one in Christ. As we hear, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Matthew 5, verses 13 through 16, we read, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your, shine, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good deeds and glory your Father in heaven. Simply, you weren't created just to eat, breathe, and take up space. God designed you to make a difference with your life, and it is called ministry. So today and tomorrow, accept each other and let Jesus heal us and go make a difference. friends 
time, we would like to again thank our cantor, Pam Kaskin, for sharing her time and talent with us today. And of course, our photographer and producer, Sarah Stitcher. Thanks to both of you lovely ladies again. Before making the leper clean, Jesus said, I will do it. Jesus wills the healing. The leper was on his knees before Jesus as a sign of complete trust in Jesus. The leprosy is a clean, clear sign of our own weakness and sin. It is a sign of fallen human nature and weakness. It is a sign that we cannot heal ourselves. We need the divine leader. Are you willing to ask for and receive his will? Now we close the chapter to ordinary time and ready ourselves for the Lenten season. Be sure to enhance your journey to Jerusalem with our Monday musical meditations during Lent. And now let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, I do will it. I do. I acknowledge your divine will in my life, but sometimes my will is weak and insufficient. Help us to deepen our ways to daily turn to you our divine healer, so that we may encounter your healing power. Help us to be open to whatever your will includes for our lives. Help us to be ready to accept your action in our lives. Jesus, we trust you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.